Well, this one was a complete disaster, but I have turned it around and now I proper love it. I mean, I couldn't love it anymore and I'm so glad it didn't work out the way I planned it, which was meant to be a smooth, concreted candle holder. But this one, I pretty much wrecked it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wrecked it when I pulled out the candle molds. So yeah, but as it happens, as it turns out, I'm loving it because I just turned it around and made it really pretty, I think. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I completely and utterly messed this up, but now I love it, then please keep watching. So to make this candle holder, you will need your cement and some cardboard. I am using an old box that I got with my tripod in, um, some sellotape, your candles, however many you want, and your scissors. So the first thing I need to do is to cut the box out and sellotape it all together. So I am using this wooden box that I got from H&M Home just to hold it in. Um, I'm thinking because it's cardboard, the weight of the concrete might expand it somehow. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is going to hold it whilst drying. And yeah, I'm going to cut the box to fit exactly inside this. So now I've got the two sides, the two ends and the two main sides. I'm actually going to, um, yeah, I am going to need to adjust that a little bit. I am going to now measure these ones and make a long one for the bottom. So what I'm going to do now with this one as the base, I am going to sellotape them all together and making sure that I have got a nice box at the end of it. So I'm gonna go this way and I will try, I'll take the edge off of this, I will try it once I've sellotaped it to fit them in and if they fit in, happy. leaving the box purposefully high because I don't want I want to be able to just pull it straight out and I'm going to check now and see if that fits in the box that I'm making it for it does so once I've started sticking all of these pieces together in that cuboid shape I'm actually going to go in making sure that the corners have all got sellotape in I don't want any leakages here you can see that I'm just lining the bottom you can see it shining I'm just lining the bottom with the sellotape. Okay, and I think I'm gonna leave it there. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to pop it into the box. If it fits, she says, if it fits. And it does fit, lovely. And that should, when dry, I should be able to just pull it out with that additional lip. So now I need to prepare the candles. So what you wanna do, if you're making a concrete candle holder, you, if you put these straight into the concrete, you're actually creating a hole only just big enough. So you wanna make these bigger in order to create the hole a tad bit bigger. Right, I do feel like this video is a bit all over the place, but you get the gist. I've got the box in here. I've just wrapped three candles. I think it was three or five, but I think three is enough. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you don't push one deeper than the other. So I'm gonna line them up in front of me because I've wrapped them all differently as you do. And I am going to mark a line at the point of this one in the middle. And I don't want them going past that line. When it comes to pushing them in, I don't wanna push it any deeper than this 
So because I didn't do it on these two, I am going to mark a line here and here just to make sure that visually I know how far to push them down. But my next step, well now that I've lined those up along the bottoms, is to mix up the concrete. So I will go through it again, it is three parts um, powder to one part water. So what I'm going to do is basically double the recipe, so I've got two cups of water in here and I now need six cups of the powder. work really really quick on this stuff um, if anything I learned that from my plant one yesterday I literally waited a tad bit too long to poke the plants in and it really was a struggle to push them in so now the liquid is in you want to give it a really good shake so I'm gonna mute the video for you So I'm gonna put the first one smack bang in the center. And then I'm going to put the other two either side of that, keeping an eye on my lines because I don't want them to go any deeper than that line. Wow, what a mess. <laughs> so this one, when I bashed it for a while, it literally splashed me and the kitchen and everything. But yeah, so here is the idea. You get the idea. I have placed three in a straight line. I've just eyeballed it. It might not be as straight as it could be if you want to proper ruler it out. But yeah, so that is what it looks like inside. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this video makes it. <laughs> okay, I have had a complete disaster and I don't know whether or not to show this video, but after a few minutes, you're meant to just pull them out before it's too late, but I forgot, so. Oh no, look at this. Can you see? I have literally had to yank them out because they got super stuck. But what I'm gonna do, <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull it out of the box and then see if I can somehow salvage, salvage, oh lordy, salvage any of it. I might have to just sand down the top. <gasps> come on, you know you wanna come out. <sighs> come on. <sighs> okay. Well, the good thing is it didn't leak into the box, so I will put that away. Then I am going to rip the sides off and just see what damage I've caused. You know, it might still work as, <laughs> as a sort of rough thing. Yeah, I'm very tempted to put this video out just because it's real life and not everything works. So let's have a go. <gasps> Oh, okay. Okay, am I in shot? Yes, I am. Would you look at that? Right, do you know what? Sod it. I'm going to keep it. I actually am going to keep it. I like it. I like it. It's not as hot as the last DIY because it's not in a metallic kind of foil thing. So it's pretty cool already. But yeah, right, so let's learn some lessons from Claire's DIY. You need to take them out pretty soon after putting them in. I would say no more than three minutes. As soon as you've put them in, take them out after three minutes. I have well and truly messed this up, but I do think it's salvageable only because concrete is sandable. So I am going to let that set. That is gorgeous, I could build a house. <gasps> How many boxes would I need for that? It is the next day now. I thought I'd leave it overnight, let it completely, you know, dry out, go rock hard. And yeah, the question of whether to post this video, and I thought, why not? Because I am gonna use it. So what I'm going to do is paint the sides 
a little bit, give it a little bit more detail. And I know that, um, I think it's the Chinese tradition when things get broken and they paint them in with gold, they glue them back together and paint the lines with gold to make it look like it's, you know, it's a treasured, saved item. But yeah, so I thought, okay, I'm not gonna do gold, but I might do um, copper and bronze and gold, those kind of those kinds of um, colours. But yeah, that's the plan. So what I'm gonna do, I thought if the candles lay flat, I'll keep it. If the candles are wonky, I won't be able to keep it because there's just no point. And luckily, all three candles lay flat in those spaces, so I'm more than happy. I am going to um, paint this area, the broken parts, where it's where it's kind of chipped away here and here and here and here, all these areas. I'm just gonna paint with some detail, then I'm gonna paint around the sides as well. That is the bronze. I don't know if you can see it in that light. That's the bronze. It's showing up very gold on camera. But yeah, that's the plan. So I'm gonna take um, quite a large head paintbrush and just fill in those gaps. I'm a bit sniffly this morning. So it almost looks like a, a melted bronze explosion, if that makes sense. Look at me sounding like an artist. So now what I'm going to do is paint around the base. And for that, I'm going to use masking tape. Now, this is quite thick masking tape. This is frog tape. It really is, um, it really is quite good. It does prevent leakages, but it definitely takes your ceilings down if you're trying to get a, a nice cut in. <laughs> I painted my bedroom yesterday and yeah, have to do the ceiling now. But anyway, so I'm going to take a length of masking tape and what I'm gonna do, I don't want um, I don't want a nice fresh white line. I'm gonna rip it and I don't it doesn't matter where the where the rip goes, that is the line I am gonna use. the finished painted product. It's so weird how the paint in there looks completely different to the paint here, but it all came from the same pot. I think it's just where this is really raw concrete, but this concrete is smooth as marble. But anyway, I I love it. <laughs> I know some of my DIYs go wrong all the time, but I still love the end result. And I think once the candles are in here, once this is dried and the candles are in, it's gonna glow, the, 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 the bronze paint is actually gonna make it glow. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I think I've probably got one more concrete DIY in me for my channel, but yeah. Um, <laughs> please do give me a thumbs up, and if you, if you can subscribe, that would be amazing. But also do let me know in the comment section down below, would you have saved it? Would you have salvaged it and done this? Or would it have gone straight in the bin? Oh, love it. All right, I am going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.